Mackenzie on November 2nd was the first time she was noted to have a murmur. At that time, Dr. Blaylock performed an echocardiogram to assess what was going on with this murmur and she was found to have something called a superior sinus venosis defect. In less fancy terms, it was a hole inside her heart and because of that we had suspected that there might be some abnormalities of her pulmonary veins, the veins that bring the red blood back to the heart. Perfect. We got a CAT scan to take a look and sure enough we found that she had a number of abnormally connecting veins and so I take a big deep breath in. We had to kind of do some plumbing, some rerouting, right, of these veins and doing so also closed the hole in her heart as well. I find that. Yeah. Let's see. Knowing Mackenzie and Levi and how active these two are, I think it was a perfect approach uh, for them because she, she was up running around literally the next day. And yeah, as you can see, prognosis. outstanding. There is no limit to the energy level that this one has. Do you remember Dr. G? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Did you put those stickers on yourself? We are forever grateful the Watts family, Kyle, Stacy, Levi, and Mackenzie. Was that a letter or a heart? I'm a heart. Thank you so much. That's really special. What do you say? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this means. You mean that means you get to come and visit here anytime. Right? What do you want to tell Dr. G? Thank you. What she, what did she do? Um fix my heart. How's it sound? Good. Good. Okay. Yours is good too. We're forever grateful to Dr. Gulisarian and the team at Medical City for all that they've done for Mackenzie and for our family. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better team to help our daughter. Yeah. <laughs>